this fourth floor. The puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Crud. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? That's right, kind one. You've granted me my only wish. My sweet Elena. We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. Are you... A stalker. Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Vanini works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. You? I didn't think we'd ever meet again. I can't say I'm happy to see you, though. <clears throat> Sorry, I let my frustration get the better of me. This place is crawling with hostile puppets. You must have known that, but you still sent me here. Honor and trust are everything to this hound. You've insulted me to the core. I'll never forgive you. But perhaps there's a shred of decency in you? So I'll ask again. Do you know of a safe place? <laughs> Nice try, but I've been there already and I know better. The puppets have already destroyed that place. <sighs> Again, you spurn my trust. But even a brave soul like me cannot afford another enemy in times like these. I shall show you mercy. Perhaps it will inspire a nobler spirit in you. But beware, do not fool me ever again. You tricked me with your lie. You disappoint me. But I'm no stranger to beneficence, so I shall let it pass one more time. Know that even my forgiveness has its limits. Remember, the hound's fangs crave the traitor's neck. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I am the hound. A descendant of the city's most aristocratic families, repaying debts is what we nobles do. Betrayal creates a debt that is particularly hard to pay back. But I am a man with generosity and mercy in abundance. I shall give you the honor of viewing my treasure so that you may apologize. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. Hey, check this out. Looks like you, sort of. From a certain angle. You know, if you squint. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? 
with the nose and the... Right? This portrait... I remember it fondly. I thought it was lost forever. I had no idea the Black Rabbit Brotherhood had stolen it. To think that you... You have brought it back to me. Forgive a foolish old man his memories. Memories of a happier time, my son. I know just where to hang it in the hotel. Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? Oh, Melody. My Melody. Your words were everything to me. She was my guardian angel. The reason I survived the Krat disaster. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry. I ramble when I get upset. Here's your reward. I think you deserve this ring more than I do. I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. I wish I could offer something more, but this is all I have. Please. Remember the love Melody and I shared. Who knows? Maybe you'll find true love one day, too. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have this? No. <laughs> it seems Dupetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? It exists indeed. An unbelievable love, to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. The portrait I sent go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. My heavens, you look... seen that painting I can't believe my eyes it's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray like 
all artists. He was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. What do you suppose our cure has created here? I have to admit some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational as we are. I'm impressed, even if it's a lie. I'm sorry I underestimated you for being a puppet. You're open-minded enough to hear the truth about the petrification disease. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or, perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus leader of the alchemists isn't hospitable. All right. I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Alidoro happy? Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but... I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. To fall for a puppet's trick. Is... is my partner... safe? This... this is Atkinson's handwriting on the letter. When we came to Krop, I never thought it would end like this. Sometimes you meet people who make you believe they'll always be with you. But a life can be snuffed out at any moment. I need to stay alive to notify others of his death. But it feels like something inside me has died as well. Anyway, I appreciate knowing what happened. I mean it. Give Geppetto's creation a killer. Confess.
stop chuckling. Not since I heard her. You should reconsider that conscience of yours. It's charming, but all this kills just such a bore. Or maybe there's no way you can. Perhaps it's its part of becoming a Tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? What or who was behind the frenzy? Really? Nothing. Uh, I've tried everything I can think of, but I keep coming up empty. All I wanted was to stop anyone else getting hurt. At least hurt by murderous puppets. Not even I can abolish all pain everywhere. Ah, no, you cannot give up Venini. You are Venini. And Venini always finds the solution. I think we can't put it off any longer. Geppetto is the last hope we have. I've exhausted my talents here. These clues, I could find them, but interpreting them is beyond my abilities. We need the man himself. You must save him, compagno. You and Geppetto are the only ones who can save Krat. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Which one are you? human. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate. <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. Blood and revenge, revenge and blood, it's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun! <laughs> even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident, only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so... unnecessary. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. Sophie, what have you done to her? Sophia. I see the lies have gotten to you, puppet of Geppetto. I know how to read memory. Your clumsy lies are pointless. So let's try the truth. Knowing the truth 
of people's minds is a curse. I would not have been able to bear it if it weren't for Sophia. Her pure heart was a tonic for my pain. That's why I wanted her. I did. But I couldn't have her in the end. So I tried to use this power to hold her. Even if these hands never could. It's fine, my God. Watch out, Fortune Phantom. <laughs>